a future without slides. No, no slide presentation. But the, the future is going to be more than just a future without slides. Um, so there's uh, there um, there are there's so much that I want to first say. But the first thing uh, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the future here, and, and I and I have a few precious minutes. Um, but here's how I want to use uh, uh, a few of those few precious minutes, and that is um, um, I'm not going to talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, uh, tell you that you should meet your neighbor here. So find someone around you um, and, uh, and just say hello for a minute. We'll bring that up in a minute, but you might need to reload. Okay, everybody. So, so the reason why I do that first is um, it's so easy to forget that the uh, that the simple power of giving people permission and license to actually simply talk to each other uh, is often forgotten. Um, I'm here today because uh, Francesca came to visit uh, Meetup in New York, and, uh, and she said that, that We Share is about um, trying to put aside going beyond the small examples and to really come to the heart of what might bring together this, uh, um, this collaborative society and I or sharing society. And I love that it wasn't just the collaborative economy or the sharing uh, economy uh, or just yet another conference where people are going to talk about the economics of, uh, of Uber or Airbnb. Um, I'm here, uh, and I've, I'm here because um, uh, the things that are being talked about are the things that are that I've you know I and, and and few other people have been thinking about for a long time and it is such such a thrill the the sort of the meet up high of getting to actually uh, hear and talk with and listen to other people who are who are sharing similar um, thoughts is the is the is the heart and soul of meetup how how many um, how many of you are actually uh, are members of a meetup okay good most of you so um, uh, when um, uh, Alexei de Tocqueville came to uh, came to my country a, a couple hundred years ago from France. He he um, he he wandered. He stumbled into America and he tried to you know just sort of pay attention and be open and listen to what was going on. And he and he wrote down a bunch of stuff. And one of the most beautiful lines that he said was he in, in observing what was going on uh, in America was he said that um, the mother of all knowledge is how to combine. And that is one of those, you know, kind of stupid, simple, obvious 
things. Well, of course, people have always connected. People have always combined. People have always collided and collaborated and communicated and, and, and done all these things. But what does it mean for, what, what did he mean by that? He, he meant that the um, Americans were doing this, uh, this, this weird, odd uh, thing, which is sort of forming associations and, and these uh, uh, you know, fraternities, and, and it was full of equality and liberty and you know, other French things. And, and um, what he, uh, uh, but you know, he saw something going on there. And what I wanna, what I believe in my, in my, in my heart from seeing the, the hundreds of thousands, hundreds of millions of uh, meetup RSVPs that have happened is that, and, and what happens when people uh, connect is that they are, um, uh, it is uh, powerful in a way that you can't predict. So when we started meetup, we thought we knew what people were gonna meet up about. Uh, and we thought, uh, you know, we thought we kind of had it all figured out. And the truth is that what people ended up meeting up about were things that we didn't imagine. And what they uh, um, didn't meet up about were the things that we, uh, is what we thought they would meet up about. So if I could actually ask to, to bring up this slide. This is a real time, um, no, 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 not the slide, the, the, the web. Are you able to do that? If not, it's okay. So. Um, so what, what this is, is a, um, a picture of the real time, you know, 100 or so RSVPs to meetups uh, going on every, uh, every minute. Um, and yeah, there we are. Oh, well, I'm seeing it on my little screen here, but you're not seeing it there. Sorry. So uh, there is the magic that is in every... Uh, spark of connection is is everything. I want you to think about who. Um, um, sorry, guys. Okay, we're good. Can you reload that? Ah. <laughs> Here we are. So we use the internet to get off the internet, and that's the that's the that's the soul of Meetup. So in my first uh, my first job out of uh, uh, out of school, I sat. I was a, I was a I was an intern, and I sat next to someone at the orientation, uh, and that person was named Brendan. And Brendan and I have worked together for 20 years ever since. He's a co-founder of Meetup, and the the reason why I wanted to start with you meeting the uh, person next to you was because you you don't know who. Uh, Odds are that person will mean nothing in your life, but there's a small percentage of, of uh, that that person will uh, be very meaningful in your life. If you, at your core, believe that you haven't met everyone in your life that might be, po might be important to you, um, that is the difference between, uh, a, you know, sort of a, um, a, a sense of possibility and a sense of, of, of closeness. The heart of... What um, we stand for at Meetup is this idea that we want a world filled with real local community. We want a world filled with real local community because, because we fundamentally believe that there are going to be new unions. There are going to be this push button opportunity that you'll, that you'll be able to push a button on your phone and not just deliver a car to you, although that's really amazing, not just be able to deliver the ability to rent a room to you, that's amazing, but behind those cars and those rooms are, are, are the people. And the internet is a network of people. And, and, and we've barely scratched the surface at what it means for people to be able to connect. So we think we're, you know, we, we, we've come a long way, you know, there's, there's, uh, there's Etsy and there's Blah Blah Car and there, there's, uh, you know, Airbnb and such, but um, getting beyond the, the small examples and into the larger is this question of, are we a species, are we a planet where people can actually find the others? Can you find the others? Can you find your people? When you're diagnosed with something, when you find yourself interested in something or passionate about something or wanting to learn something, are you actually able to call up, uh, to call up those people and actually connect? Um, it, it would be easy to be cynical and say, well, yeah, roughly, generally, yes, we're there. 
But I think what's, um, what the future holds is that the density of these networks have barely been, uh, have barely been scratched. That, we, um, that when, when, it, when it took, when, you know, when Blah Blah Car was in, a, it was in a spot where you couldn't get a ride to where you wanted to go, or it wasn't a convenient time, or it wasn't a convenient place, the difference between, um, let's say, a 20-minute Uber wait time and a five-minute Uber wait time is a radical difference in the, in the whole experience of what, it, of what it means to use these services. And so broadly, broadly speaking, broadly, broadly speaking, this question of how, um, again, when, you're, when, you, when you find yourself wanting to learn or share or, 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 uh, or, or you're diagnosed with something, can you, can you connect locally? Um, we haven't, we have hardly seen it yet. Um, guys, if you wouldn't mind bringing up the, the screen that I see up to the big screen. Um, so is that an exciting future? Is that, uh, you know, th this, this resiliency, so we're living in a weird, weird moment where the, there's two competing forces Defining and, and, and defining our future. The competing forces are this centralization and decentralization. This centralization of power, of money, of wealth, of even wealth within these marketplaces. Uh, you know, so, so, so the Ubers of the world become, you know, ever more centrally powerful. Yet, they are defining the other competing force, which is the decentralization, the empowering of people, the ability for people to uh, self-organize and be powerful together. Um, uh, this is, you know, this, this inequality and opportunity, this decentralization and centralization is really the big, it's the big question. And I think that um, what we see with the acceleration of the density of the ability for people to connect in all ways, online and off, um, the future, I believe, is, is, um, has some hope. So despite, despite the, 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 the sense of powerlessness the, that comes with the inequality, the, that, the idea that climate is changing, that, that strangers are getting stranger and weather is getting weirder, um, the ability for, the, for community resiliency to happen, to really happen, because people have the ability to connect, is, um, I, you know, I really think is what, is what might save us. And so I, 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 I bet that a lot of people in this room are working on that. You're working on the various forms of how people can connect and, and form a decentralized power. So, you know, in my, in my world, uh, in, in the world of Meetup, we look at every one of these, you know, th so this is real time. Someone is pressing a button on their phone saying, I want to meet up, I want to meet up, I want to meet up. And I, you know, I, you have to look, you can look at it as like, okay, great, that's, that's nice. You know, the penguins unbound in Minneapolis, Minnesota, or the rails meet up in Cape Town. Like, that's nice. It's a, it's a you know... Someone going to a little event, it's just an RSVP, it's no big deal. But actually, behind each one of these, behind each one of these items that you're seeing uh, pop up is, is that possibility, is that magic, is that strengthening of a fabric, the strengthening of a, of a, of a web, of a social support structure. The stories that I live with every day, and I'll, 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 I'll leave you uh, in, in just a moment here, is is it's not, um, you know, I can kind of talk in these grandiose terms, but really it comes down to the, to the small is beautiful. It comes down to the small communities that form, that let's just pick, uh, um, let's see, uh, call up one of these, the, I have no idea what that is in, Ber in Berlin. So the, um, some co-working meetup in Lyon, that, that co-working meetup in Lyon, that woman, um, is not only might not only might find a really important person in her life to uh, to help her career or be a friend or be supportive or help create opportunity for her, but it's in the 
it's in the web of connections. So it's not just the transactional connection of she just bought a ride from someone or she just shared a, an apartment with someone. But that community, that group, becomes denser as an individual decentralized unit um, doing what people have always done, doing what Alexei de Tocqueville talked about 200 years ago, but it has frayed because we, even though we're more connected, we're less connected and people are scared uh, of each other. Um, the opening up and the re revealing of possibilities together, I hope and I believe is the defining part of our future. Thanks.